And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got a really, really, really big video day. Not gonna lie, guys. Big content day. They combined two of the biggest things in Madden right now into one day we are getting the special stream nfl draft preview of the promo which is going to be pretty much a whole promo video you're gonna see the whole promo today as well as we got the golden ticket reveal so golden ticket is one of the biggest content drops of the year as well as nfl draft one of the biggest promos of the year combined into one now guys this nfl draft won't be with the rookie players yet until they're drafted they can't really assign those guys but it should be the guys that came like past drafted players like cam newton Miles Garrett, Tom Brady, uh, Christian McCaffrey, Cam Newton, you guys get the point. So I'm expecting to see all of that. I'm expecting draft picks. I'm expecting, like I said, my idea hopefully comes through with the uh, the draft picks out of a special limited time solo. We won't know that now. That probably something to announce later on anyways, but that still would be super cool. And I really would like that. And guys, as far as golden tickets go, we did got one confirmed. I think we only got one confirmed, so we got to see the other two. Now, there's the thing. The EA is creating their own, so we have to kind of see what's going to go on with whether they're user created, whether they're um, from EA. So we really don't know which one's which. We're going to figure this all out, guys. But guys, before we get into today's video, make sure to go below. Hit that subscribe button if you've been enjoying the content. Turn on the notify bell, boys. It means a lot. Comment down below what do you guys think about the NFL Draft promo and the golden tickets. And give this video a big thumbs up, guys. Can we get 200 likes in this video in the first hour? Now let's get into all the content. Started with the draft heroes. So guys, we'll get to the golden tickets later. Hopefully they're up on the block by that point. But pretty much the way it's going to work, there's pretty much just like a player for every single pick. Picks 2 through 32, and then they're going to be the number one at the end. Hopefully, depending on how these screenshots are laid out. So first, we got Anthony Munoz. Pretty solid left tackle. Almost all above 94 to 95 stats. Solid left tackle, guys. And pretty much they're going to be all 97s across the board until we get to the higher overall picks, such as number one. And then, of course, we got the uh, pick collectibles. So moving on over, we got Von Miller. Pretty decent card. Good power move. Good play rec. Decent speed. Not that great, to be honest with you guys. Probably making that pick up. Then we got the future superstars. We will be getting th uh, free, th uh, I think it's like six to seven free 393s and 94s. It's a nice mix. We've gotten these before, guys. It's not the first time we've gotten something like this, but it is pretty uh, pretty cool to get free stuff. And remember, these cards do lose their overall like in a month, and then you're going to get more anyway, so it's not like it really matters. But moving on, we got Adrian Peterson. Honestly, not a fan of this card. Only a 94 speed. Not the greatest stats. Way too slow for my liking, in my opinion. Then we got Leonard Williams. Again, really, really slow. Great block shot and power move, though, and play wreck and tackle, but way too slow. I could probably get a lot more athleticism with similar stats and uh, with an old, with probably an ultimate legend. And then we got Patrick Peterson. Finally, a Pat P car. We have not gotten one of these in quite a while. 95 speed. Honestly, I wish it was a little bit faster because powered up and chemmed up, he will get to like a 98, 99. But I thought it would be a little bit faster base, and his zone's not going to be that great either. Card's not bad, though. Going to be still a pretty good Pat, uh, Pat P card. He will only get to a 98 probably, though. Uh, maybe a 99 depending on your uh, your camps and stuff, but still not bad. AJ Green, in my opinion, way too slow. 93 speed. That's pretty much Kelvin Benjamin minus the amazing catching and route running Kelvin Benjamin. Card's decent. In my opinion, not a card I'll be using at this stage in the game. JJ Watt, not a bad left end, but his finesse move and power move are only 94, 93. His block shedding is a low 90. His, uh, his strength and everything else is great, but I feel like if I'm going to be getting a 97 to 90 overall type end or defensive end, I probably want him having almost maxed out block shit and power move at this point so i'm really not a fan of this card then we got todd Gurley again way too slow 94 speed i don't really know what they're doing with all these cards right now again with promos like these typically the pieces aren't as great and then the top pieces are just amazing but low trucking low catching decent elusiveness decent excel decent speed not really a fan of this as a running back we have too many good running backs at this point then we got anthony barr not a bad outside linebacker great speed Great block shed. Going to be good if you just put him out in the zone. His zone might not be the greatest, but he's going to be pretty decent at it considering his height, speed, play rec. Not, bad, not a bad card, to be honest. I actually like this card. Roquan Smith, a really, really good user linebacker. He's going to have above a 90 zone uh, chemmed up. He's going to have a 90, 96 hit power because he can't be powered up. And great speed. Not a bad user linebacker at all. JPP, JC Pierre Paul. Honestly, decent card. Really low uh, power move. He can finesse move, though, but really bad block shedding. I'm really not a fan of guys who can only finesse and then can't block shed. That kind of reminds me of Joey Bosa. Probably won't be getting this card. Then we got Malcolm Jenkins, way too slow. 89 speed at strong safety at this point in the game. Gonna get burnt left and right. No need to discuss further stats. Only on a theme team will he be useful. De'Aaron Payne, 79 speed. Not not horrible, but he has no pass rush. He has decent run stuff, and he's slow. Not a fan. Odell Beckham Jr. Finally, we got an Odell card. We kind of knew we were getting one though. So powered up and chemed up. This Odell can get to a 99 speed. 
99 jumping, 99 spec catch. Not the greatest card. The route running is a little bit lower than I'd like, and they always make his catch traffic bad, but he's going to be super fast. Going to be like a Tyree Kill type card. And in my opinion, he's not bad. Don't want to be too biased because I like Odell. But I got you one, James. Decent right tackle. I'm not a fan of his run blocking, though, which at this point in the game, I feel like if you're a 97 overall tackle, you should probably have more well-rounded and more high mid-90s and all these stats. Not a bad pass blocking uh, tackle, though. Adoree Jackson, 97 overall cornerback. Not, not the best. Because you can't power him up, which just kind of suck. If you could power him up, it would have been a much better corner, speed type corner. Now remember guys, you are going to probably be able to get some of these for free. Or actually for a fact, I know you'll get some of these for free. So typically when we can get free things, they don't make the cards that overpowered. But you're going to find a few that you like personally for your team. So that's just fine. You'll make plenty of use with those guys. On to the next one, we got CJ Mosley. 89 speed, not horrible. Block shedding kind of bad, zone's decent. You have to use this guy. But the issue with using him is that his block shedding is not that great. And his speed's not that great. So in my opinion, I mean, there's, I'd much rather have that Roquan Smith. Then we got Brian Burns. We are getting a golden ticket, Brian Burns. So kind of weird that we got a lot of good, we got a lot of players today that's supposed to be golden tickets as well. Um, really fast, great excel. But the finesse move is good, but the block shooting is kind of bad. If he's just a pure pass rusher, that's fine. But as a run stuffer all around guy, not really a fan. Now this card I really like. Evan Ingram right here. He will, may not be your starting tight end, like your number one, but he could be a solid, solid number two. Actually, he could be your number one. Powered up and chemmed up, he's going to get, if you have John Madden and Sprinter and you power him up, he's going to have a 97 speed at tight end. That's going to be super glitchy on the seams, on out routes, on flag routes, on post routes. Good route running, great speed, great spec catch, great catch, great height, guys. This card overall is just a monster. I think this is going to be one of the better cards to take if you have an option to get the free one. Bud Dupree, uh, super tall, super fast, great pass rushing, decent block shedding. Again, I want the block shedding to be higher, but you can maybe even leave this guy in the zone just based off his height and speed. Although I wouldn't recommend it. Wouldn't be the worst thing. Then we got Darnell Savage Jr. Not a bad card. I wish you could just power him up. That really does suck that you can't. But his speed, 96 speed, great speed, great hit power. Decent zone. If you could have powered him up and kept him up, would have been a lot better. Especially because he can get a 99 speed. But not bad overall. Way too slow at 91 speed. Not going to go over much more stats on that one. Way too slow. Except if you have a Ravens team team. We got Calvin Ridley. Great speed. Decent catching. Good route running. Overall, well, decent card. Kind of reminds me of the Odell card to an extent just better route running and slightly worse spec catch then we got Jabril peppers not a fan of this card a little bit too slow at this point in the game you can't power him up though gonna be just a very well-rounded weapon not like something insane and then we got david to cash on this is a really solid card all around if you power up and come up gonna be one of the best right guards in madden 20 probably end game to be honest speed really amazing catching good route running but he's kind of too slow for my liking but he's gonna be like a tony gonzalez type build then we got the marius randall great zone decent speed bad hit power He's a zone hawk, but at this point, man, too slow, not enough hit power, but he's not horrible. We got Harrison Smith, as always, too slow for my for my liking. Great zone, great hit power. He'd be good as a linebacker. Put him at linebacker if you can. That's where you'll find use out of him. We got Lakin Tomlinson. Uh, pretty good right, pretty good left guard, I should say. Great run blocking, decent pass blocking, not a bad card. Over. Logan Mankins as the final card, pretty decent. Then we got the master, which is first overall pick, Cam Newton. So we did get a 99 overall Cam Newton. He should be getting a golden ticket later in the year, though, so we're kind of anticipating 299 cams. In my opinion, guys, the card's really, really good. Great throw on the run, great short, great throw power. But the issue with this card overall, in my opinion, is I'd rather have Pat Mahomes. Still, because Pat Mahomes only has three less speed. But he has way better mid, way better throw deep, way better throw power, way better throw to pressure. So I think I'd rather stick with Pat Mahomes. He's not he's not like groundbreaking speed, you know what I'm saying? If he was groundbreaking speed, it'd be different. Yes, you can power him up, probably get his speed to like a 91, 92. But in my opinion, I think I'd rather stick with Mahomes. Although Cam's really, really cool, and you can get him probably for a decent price based on the set. A little bit, you, there's going to be diamond, uh, diamond draft collectibles, similar to most promo collectibles. You're going to get a lot of them, not going to use all of them. They said there will be a quick sell value on those as well as come back on draft night. This came back up, so you can't see right here, my face here might be covering it. 97 overall player. You can earn a 97 overall draft player by collecting two draft collectibles from challenges and house to house. Head rules, house, head to head house rules. So pretty much, we're gonna get some free players, guys. That's, that's for certain. So if you saw any of those players you liked that I went over, you probably be able to get like two of them for free, as well as even trade them up towards more stuff. So here you go, playing the solo challenges. You're gonna see tier one, we're gonna get a nat pick 11 through 20. So the way that pretty much works is Anyone who's picked between 11 and 20, you're going to be able to get one of them for randomly, though, I think. So it's going to be Nat. So whoever gets picked in the real-life draft, probably getting it there. And then Di it's either going to be that way or it's going to be based on the players that were drafted in real life prior to that. Draft Diamonds and then Nat picks 11 through 20 twice. So you're going to get two more of those. You're going to get a lot of free players, guys. Uh, you're going to get another one right here, which I think is the same one as we just saw. Draft from the past, Draft All-Stars, and Late Round uh, Miracles. 
we get the nfl draft and then the draft night special guys now the draft night special is kind of what i was saying there's gonna be limited time solo challenges the night of the draft you have to play that night honestly super excited for that kind of what i've been looking for and a really good house rules guys so house rules five wins it's called played out house rules we've done this before you just can't use the same plays so 86 overall on that player five wins picks 21 through 32 solid again 10 wins same thing 15 wins 11 through 20 20 and then 25 dra uh, draft diamond collectibles and then pick 30 you get a 98 overall nat draft class 20 player which does mean like uh isaiah simmons it's gonna be picks two through five Kralo said so like isaiah simmons tua jeff okuda um chase young one of those guys maybe may, maybe another guy but i'm pretty sure it's gonna be one of those maybe burrow if he falls somehow guys super super solid definitely excited for these house rules moving on we just see more of the stuff we can get nat pick six through ten as we move up the tiers Fifty thousand coins draft diamond collectible guys it is a huge promo another one right here no more draft diamonds and then as we move on down another 93 over here and then more draft diamonds it is a really really big promo overall let's look at some of the sets we have the number one draft pick exchange 296 overall draft pick players earning 98 overall pick cam newton and it goes the same way down picks one picks two through five picks six to ten and then as we've gone over these are the sets draft picks draft heroes class of 20 draft diamonds these are where you put the draft diamonds in you will be getting a 97 overall nat player or a 97 overall class of 20 nat player which is just this year's draft versus past drafts this would be the class 2020s this would be the night of the draft where you could put in your car specific picks and you can go ahead and try to get the players and these collectibles will be transforming into players so there will be collectibles that turn into players so pretty much you can play with them as soon as they are the player tune in turn in draft picks to earn their better draft hero versions so if you have like five pick twos put them in you get the actual pick two 97 let's just say and then exchange draft pick players for better ones pretty self-explanatory so we move on over draft night special these will be the limited night uh time solos that do expire at midnight of the night of the draft i'm pretty sure so stay tuned for that and then these are the solos we saw already players they will be getting draft picks two through five so these are the nat ones will look like just like this and i'm pretty sure you can take two of these and put it in for like a 97 or exchange them to a 98 so like you get two of these you can make the 98 cam newton and then it takes two 98 cam newtons to make the number one overall draft pick so if you make if you get four of these you make two 98 cam newtons and then you can put those in for 99 joe burrow or whoever the first pick is and then moving on over we get the draft pick two through five pack we get this and then obviously here the 296s get you a 98 cam and then so on same thing to build the set it's going to take four adrian peterson draft picks number seven so you're gonna have to really be collecting these draft picks and then for the 97 one it's gonna take two von millers cam newton's gonna so for the, for the 99 cam newton you're going to need two 90 uh two of the 96s i believe or two draft pick cam newton's in 99 which i believe was the 96 this could be wrong though but again it's gonna be a lot of like converting like you're gonna get the 96s to 97 then you're gonna get them to 98s which make 99s it's very like all over the place but it's gonna be really big and a lot to do draft class hero we got some other stuff here same thing pretty much you turn in the two cam newtons for the number one if you exchange 298 cam newtons you get the number one overall draft pick in the class of 20 which is probably gonna be joe burrow so it's gonna take 298 cams but if you transfer everything up right you could probably do it for pretty cheap then just some of the store stuff right here nothing really much just packs and the usual stuff a random draft pick which is pretty cool which i'm guessing you can use uh you're gonna get one of the players golden tickets for today are curvon leblanc so what are the ones we got 95 speed 97 excel 96 agility 95 jumping 97 play rec 99 man 99 zone 99 press guys looks very similar to byron jones he's going to be able to get 97 speed plus john madden probably 98 speed close to like 99 excel gonna get 99 play rec 99 man 99 zone 99 press gonna be a lockdown coverage corner great athleticism looks very similar to byron jones it really just depends on his catch and behind the card stats but the card's looking pretty solid then we got rg3 robert griffin guys this is the one that i've been waiting for 95 speed so they did give him better speed than i thought he'd get and they give him a redskin jersey which is super cool so He's going to get again with John Madden and everything. 98 speed at quarterback, super solid. He's going to get 99 throw power. He has 99 throw under pressure, 99 throw on the run, 99 play action. He's going to get 99 throw deep. And he's going to get 99 throw short, as well as probably like a 92 to 93 throw mid, unless you use West Coast, which you probably get up to a 94. Card is super, super solid. Really depends on his price. Probably going to be super expensive, though. If I can't afford him, I will try my best to actually get him. But I'm not entirely sure because he's going to be super, super expensive. And then finally, we got Bo Jacks, which you guys saw already. Going to be the greatest running back in like the history of Madden. 99 speed, 99 excel, 99 agility, 99 carrying when it's all chemmed up. Going to have 99 elusiveness, 99 trucking, 99 break tackle. This is the 99 card. Besides catching, everything's 99. Going to be super glitchy. I would hate to go up against some guys, but that is it for the video. And we have the confirmed list, by the way. Let's go to that real quick. Where they did show us all the confirmed ones, which I believe is over here. We got Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, Muhammad Sanu. We do got Cam Newton missing there. That should be there. Julio, Mike Evans, Ramsey, Taylor Mays, Reggie White, Trey Edmonds, 
Adrian Peterson, Zach Gentry, Brian Birds, and Calvin Johnson. Guys, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you've been enjoying the content. Turn on the notification bell, boys. Comment down below. That's about it. I'm out. Peace.